I'm gonna switch gears though for one final. Oh my, once again, it almost slipped my mind. <laughs> one final topic here on Sleepless with Steve. One final topic. There is a new movie coming to theaters soon. I don't know when. Maybe next year. Probably next year. I would say next year or the following year, 2020. And I don't even know how you introduce this thing. Fox Searchlight announced that it is developing a film about flaming hot Cheetos. And it's coming to theaters, and it's good. Now, it's not what you think, because I know, I think you, when you see this and you read the headline, you're thinking You're it's thinking an emoji movie, you're like th- what they did. You're thinking of an animated movie with Chester Cheetah. And, like, have you been to Burger King recently? Have you been to Burger King recently? They have, like, those che- the, those Cheetos-infused, like, yeah. fries. They have, like, Chester Cheetah so animated gross. on the menu. I've never- I had one. <laughs> oh, so God. disgusting. I would never. You, first off, can I just disclaimer this, because we're going to talk about this Flamin' Hot Cheetos movie. First off, I'll tell you right now, minority opinion, hate Cheetos. I hate Cheetos. My God, you know there's two. Like I said, the two the, the two controversial statements I've made in the last two in the last two weeks. Kendrick Lamar is overrated, <laughs> and Cheetos suck. Okay, I disagree with both of them. Uh, I you like I hate Cheetos. I love. It's, I especially talk about hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos are my favorite. Yeah, and this is good because you're hungry too. I know. Oh, that. I know, right? I hate Cheetos, man. Ever since I was a kid, they're disgusting. I I, I find them very gross. Oh, my mouth is getting watery. J- just the, just the the texture of them what they leave on you the film they leave on your i think they're gross. i've always hated what they leave on your fingers i think they're i've gr- always hated i that. think they're gross i really do but anyway fox searchlight announced that it will be putting a film called flame and hot which i think is a great title about <laughs> the about the janitor the mexican immigrant janitor behind the creation of uh, of Cheetos of flaming hot Cheetos. Mm-hmm. His name Richard Montañez, and he is uh, he was he was a uh, he emigrated to Southern California from Mexico as a kid. He dropped out of school to learn English, and he worked at a farm where he uh, where he he was a grape picker before he became a janitor at the Frito Lay plant in Cucamonga, and he was uh, he was actually eating a cup of corn one day apparently. And he ha- and he kind of decided to experiment. He took he listen to this is an interesting story, and I, I kind of look forward to seeing this play out. He <laughs> added butter and cheese and chili to the corn. Oh, that's and, chili. <laughs> and he and he said he's like, I wonder if you put chili in what it would taste like. So he made it at home and he messed with the spices, you know, because it probably took a few you know weeks or so or you know days to really get the recipe. Yeah, and can't wait he, for this montage. Of yeah, the movie. <laughs> no kidding, right? And he and then he he tried it and he, he thought it was great. You know what I mean? He finally perfected the recipe. He got in touch with the president of Frito Lay to pitch his idea, and he he tried. He seized and he was his, a janitor at Frito Lay too. He was a janitor, yes, and he took he took the opportunity. Uh, he took the opportunity, and the president of Frito Lay, and this is a, this is gonna be a wild story. He was very for it, and he said, and he said too. He said, "This is great." He said, "This is an interesting snack." It's at the time it was kind of unlike anything because you got to think like back in this time, which was around like two thousand and I think the early two thousands or so. It was, um, um, it was or no, no, it was far later than that. I was looking at the the date of the article. It was far it was far earlier than that. It was like around the eighties or nineties. Was that you got to think too? Is that well? First off, it was probably a lot more accessible to go talk to a boss at this time. Number yeah. one. Number two, though, there wasn't a lot of spicy products out at the no. time. There really wasn't. This now, launched it honestly. Like this inside the flaming hot. Uh, uh, what's it called? Funyuns and like stuff like that. Nowadays, you see sriracha, everything. There's yeah. flaming hot chips. There's all sriracha this sriracha wings. All this crap. Now it's all spicy stuff. Ghost peppers popular, but man, you don't get that now. So it's interesting. There's a story here to be told. I yeah. just find it very peculiar. It, it makes me wonder: Is this going to be a story that can actually span to at least an hour and thirty minutes? Or is this a better story if I were just to read it on a newspaper, honestly? That's another thing, too. Like, right now, currently, Montañez is working as the – he's the head of multicultural sales and community promotions across PepsiCo's uh, North America division. Oh, nice. So good for him, man. <laughs> oh, tip man. Of, tip of the cap to him, man. He said – and he even said, too, he said here – and I quote, he says, Many times greatness will come in ridiculous forms. A ridiculous idea might be a billion-dollar idea. Good tip of the cap to him, man. Is that not – like, is that – not the American dream that, right that there. That really is. I mean, Mexican immigrant, very little money, great picker, little opportunity, janitor at Frito-Lay, comes up with a spur-of-the-moment idea, says, what the hell, I got nothing to lose going to the boss with it, you know, just to see what, you know what I mean, just yeah. to see what would happen, and now look at him. You know, if that's not an American dream story, I don't know what it is. So I, I like that, but like you just said, what is a film going to bring to this? Would I be better off reading a 12-page article about it yeah. and feeling content. That's the thing is like, you know, well, I'd be better off honestly just reading it off 
this this whole story off the Wikipedia page, honestly. It's true. You know that you gotta consider that. You now, Pain and Gain, the only reason I bring up Pain and Gain is because Pain and, Pain and Gain was a movie that was spawned from an article. It was spawned from a feral yeah. about the, the, I can't remember, the, the Sun the, the sun Coast something, the, that particular gym, you know, that, that particular gym that inspired it. Now, the, the thing was, though, was that Pain and Gain was so ridiculous and so overblown that it was like, it added that, you know what I mean? Like, you felt like, okay, this was a film worth making and worth seeing. Yeah. I'm curious to see how Flame and Hot kind of adds to that. You know what I mean? Is this going to be a movie? Like, and I and I think a lot of people didn't care for it, but I thought the founder did really well with with. with I like the founder uh, a lot with, with too, Ray Kroc. I thought the founder was a good movie. I thought the founder was a well acted, well made movie. Love the scenes with the McDonald's brothers. Oh, I thought, yeah. I, with John Carroll Lynch, Swanson, uh, and, what's yeah, his name? And um, Nick Offerman. Nick Offerman. There we go. And John yeah. Carroll Lynch, who directed Lucky, uh, as well. So no, I like I, I I liked the founder. I think that this. I think that that's kind of. I would say that's the benchmark. You know what I mean? I, be like that. I, be aim like, for that. Yeah, aim for the founder. I think that's. I think that's what this could. But yeah, I we had to squeeze that in there. Uh, the Flame and Hot Cheetos movie about Richard Montañez, the the creator of Flame and Hot Cheetos. Who do you think is gonna play Richard Montañez? You know, you know, maybe Michael Pena. Maybe Michael Pena. Maybe my, I, I Michael was thinking Pena. Diego Luna. Diego Luna too. Um, Diego Luna could. Michael Pena, I think, is a good. I, I think is a good. Who, who's good the guy from uh, Spanish Lover? How uh, to be a Latin lover? Yeah, how to be a Latin lover? Is that guy? Is that is that not that's not a, Eugene no, 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 Derbez? No, no, it's a hard name. To, it's like Unahenio Derbez, which yeah, I'm yeah, not going to say that that's the right way to pronounce it. But I think he's in the Overboard remake too. It's it's I think it's like Unahenio Derbez. <laughs> Danny Trejo. <laughs> Danny Trejo. Oh man, don't get me started. Get machete up in there. <laughs> yeah, I would. I think if you if you would ask me, I say Michael Pena. Michael Pena. I say Michael Pena. Okay. I think Michael Pena is likable. I and say I, uh, either D Diego Luna or Jay Hernandez. Maybe that's another one. 